The approach has always been more of a uh, discussion approach, and it's it, I, I don't want to insult students by coming in and puking back at them exactly what they should have been reading in the textbook mm -hmm. because it's an insult to the intelligence, it's an insult to their abilities, and it's a complete waste of their time. Mm -hmm. You know, if they want somebody that's going to come in and puke a textbook back to them, I'm going to shake their hand, thank them for their time, and wish them well. What I want to do is look at the general topic that we're studying and I want to try to bring in as many real-life examples or mm -hmm. hypotheticals to try to flesh it out and give students an understanding of the political system and the government system in action. I expect when they come in that they'll have read the material. I'll expect that they've got that as their foundation starting point and from there we're going to explore the material in a number of real-life situations or hypothetical situations that show exactly how it plays out. Or doesn't and that play. is what intrigues me the most, too, Jeff. You have this position, and yet you're choosing to teach. It, it comes from the basic philosophy that I've had of uh, public service. My entire legal career has been in the public service area, and I honestly believe that you have to treat the world like you treat a campsite. And when you go camping, it's built into everybody's head to leave the site a better place than you find it. And I believe that that basic camping philosophy applies to how we treat the community and how we treat life, that we need to leave the place a better place than we find it. And working with the students and the staff and the faculty and the folks out at the Cambridge campus of Anoka Ramsey has been an opportunity of something back and hopefully try to leave the place a little better than I found it.